Welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. The World Health Organization recommends 150 minutes of physical activity like walking each week or 75 minutes of vigorous activity like fast walking, running, or cycling. That's because physical activity can prevent cancer, boost your immunity, and reduce mortality. Today, we're gonna to talk exercise immunology. Did you know when you exercise, you induce a leukocytosis? This means an increase in your white blood cell count. Exercise elicits a profound mobilization of all subtypes of immune cells. Natural killer cells, gamma delta T cells, CD8 cells, CD14, CD16 monocytes, and neutrophils. All of those mobilize the most. This increases immunosenescence. But let's remember what immunosenescence actually is. It's immune dysregulation with aging, which leads to increased susceptibility of infection, autoimmune diseases, neoplasias, and other things. But when we exercise, we use our muscles, right? So let's talk about those muscles. We all know muscles are an endocrine organ that actually release proteins into our bloodstream. They release cytokines, they release peptides, they release nucleic acids, they release lipids and other metabolites. The muscle in general is a secretory organ. There's over 300 different proteins that have been identified to be secreted from just resting muscle, just sitting here right now. When interleukin-6 is released during exercise from the muscle, this has a profound anti-inflammatory effect. It can bind to NK cells, mobilize them into the bloodstream, where they then recognize tumor cells. Interleukin-1 receptor antagonists and interleukin-10 reduce the effect of TNF and interleukin-1 beta which are both involved in many pro-inflammatory pathologies. This is how exercise enhances vaccination responses, lowers levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines, increases natural killer cell activity, and lowers the numbers of exhausted T cells. That way T cells continue to work and do what they're supposed to do. You also get down-regulation of toll-like receptor 4, Toll-like receptor 4 is on the cell membrane and it's activated by bad cholesterol, LDL, and it's also involved in developing obesity-induced insulin resistance leading to type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Muscle cells also release interleukin-7. This promotes the output of naive T cells and supports the generation and persistence of memory cells. It also releases interleukin-15. That increases activating surface receptors that's going to lead to an enhancement of tumorocytal activity and leads to lower markers of exhaustion and higher numbers of CD8 T cells. It kills cancer cells. Exercise is a powerful treatment strategy and should continue to be endorsed. It's not just being in shape that's important. It's understanding what that means inside your body and what it means to your white blood cells. None of this is magic. It's science. We're going to see you next time. Thanks for joining Medicine Deconstruction.